Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are here to see the first machine in operation, which is the boring. So let's go immediately in machining and let's start from the top. So boring, we select it. And at this point, the first thing on the right panel, the first thing we see is that this machining can be applied from the geometry or from the position. So if uh, you are working with a drawing, maybe because you have imported the drawing at the XF and you want to just apply uh, the machining to that geometry, of course, you will select from geometry. Otherwise, we can go by position. And so if we select by position, first of all, here we have our panel exploded. So zero is the top face. One, two, three, four are the sides. And the fifth one is the bottom. As you can see, by default, I have uh, the top left corner as a reference corner. And let me immediately say that if the same coordinates are also taken from the other corners, it's basically simple as that. So just enable also all the others and it will be done. Of course, if you want to make uh, an horizontal uh, boring, an horizontal drilling, you just need to select the reference corner of the side face, any of the side face, or even, you know, more than one. Of course, the coordinates now are completely wrong for the horizontal because, so let me turn off maybe the top, because in case of the horizontal machining, let's focus only on one of them, our X will become this one and our Y will become this. So X and Y. Just to see it more clearly. If we use the face selection, because right now uh, the top face is the one selected and you can immediately notice it because you, you can see the reference corner and the axis. So the X axis will be here and Y here. Let's see what happens when we select a different face. Okay, see, now this is my X and this is the Y. That's why my 100 goes down here. So if we go back in the machining and in the Y position, we specify LPZ divided by two and for uh, all the people that didn't see my video of the parametric programming yet, LPZ stands for length of the panel along the z-axis, which is the thickness, and it will stay always the thickness of the panel. In this case, I said, okay, let's place the coordinate at half of the thickness so centered along the thickness of course the next really important thing is the tool so which one is the tool we want to use for this hole and you have two options it can be by diameter so you just have to specify diameter and depth and eventually the tool type. So here you have all the options. Otherwise, you can just simply select tool 
and you can choose the tool directly from the library and as you can see I also have router bits why I'm able to see router bits here just because uh, these router bits uh, whenever we were creating the tool have been enabled also for drilling that's why I'm able to select them because here you will only see the part of the library related to drilling the green dot on the top right corner remember that is telling you that the tool is tooled up somewhere on the machine so it is available the other ones have been created but at the moment they are not tooled up so we select depth and confirm so these are the main parameters but let's uh, go back and select the top we select again the same machining now let's say we want to create a boring line we have a couple of options in order to do that so like I was saying if the coordinates from the reference corner are the same also for the other side we can just simply select the two corners and then of course again the tool if we want to go uh, with the five or we can use whatever other tool we want depth 10 or whatever it is and here we can go directly on the repetition tab on this field we can select different type of repetitions and so based on what we need to do we can select the more appropriate in this case I'm gonna use the linear how many repetitions it depends on what I want to do so I can go just by a number or I can put a formula if I want basically the, the, the amount of repetitions to change according to the length of the panel so in that case I will have to write in a parenthesis LPX minus 200 because I started from 100 and then if I want to keep you know the same distance of the opposite side it will be another 100 and everything has to be divided by the gap and normally is plus 1 step 32 or of course if I want to use a different step just simply select 64 and remember to change it also here in this case since we have the formula if we change the panel length it will also change the amount of holes another function that can be helpful is the vertical step so if we are working uh, I don't know with a really hard material or for any reason uh, we want to split the depth in multiple passes we can uh, do that from from here so vertical step how many so if I want to go down five millimeter at a time I just go two so I divided the, the 10 millimeter by two 
and when you are using the multipass basically you can also uh, select if you want the complete unloading of the chips between one pass to the other so it will go down five millimeter and then it will go completely out of the panel to go back down for the second pass otherwise partial it will be going down five millimeter in this case and then go up until the top of the panel but it will not exit the panel it will stay down so of course it will save time it will still uh, it will still be helpful you know to unload the chips but uh, uh, you are gonna save time anyway because it's not completely going up otherwise the third option is unload at user defined position so when you select this option you are also uh, able to select and specify how much the tool has to go back after reaching the first step of the depth. So like for instance we went down 5 mm for the first step I want to go back maybe only 3. Then speed here everything is at zero and in this case takes the default of the tool so whatever is the default uh, machining feed rate for the tool uh, will be used otherwise you can change it directly here as we can see the advanced the feed rate we, it is uh, set uh, for the default at 3 meters a minute so 3000 millimeters a minute and the rotation is 4000 rpm these are the feeds and speeds that will be used in case we don't specify anything here otherwise these fields will overwrite the standard safety again all these will be taken directly from the tool and as we can see is 10 when we are using the jig safety so the safety above the table or will be 30 in case we are using clamps but if you want to change for some reason because I don't know you are in a particular situation you can always disable the standard and change it just for this program or actually just for this machining piercing data piercing is basically the function that help you avoid chipping the back of the panel when programming through holes so normally for this uh, function uh, we prefer to use a conical bit so with the sharp tip and with these parameters you can control the feed rate so piercing distance it means that you can determine when the machine has to reduce the feed rate and in this case I can say I don't know it's normally when you program uh, this one will be of course 5 millimeter and you will you will have to enable the, the through hole so in this case it means that it will go 5 millimeter through And we can say that for the last 7 mm of the depth you need to change feed rate and instead of using the default which in this case is 3000 mm a minute you need to use 800. And then confirm now 
like I was saying, there are a couple of options to create a boring line. We have seen the one starting from uh, the selection of two reference corners and using the linear repetition. But we can do the same thing, so cancel, let me leave it that, that one as it is. But we can do the same thing also with only one reference corner, so 100, 100, just to make it simple. Tool, 5 millimeter depth, 10, or whatever it is. And then repetition instead of using the linear we can use the matrix so the matrix allows you to repeat in both the directions x and also y so we are gonna say again if we want the amount of repetitions to change according to the size uh, or the length of the panel we can use our variables length of the panel along the x minus 200 everything has to be divided by the gap we have we have used the 64 for the previous one so let's uh, still use the 64 plus 1 number of repetition in y in this case is fixed is only 2 and we can change then the step for the x to match whatever we have used here 64 and for the y we can use length of the panel in y minus 200 always if we want to keep the same distance from both sides so front and back otherwise of course we can change it to 20 or I mean 250 or whatever has to be or maybe less 180 confirm we can compare so of course on this side there is a difference just because instead of using a hundred so 200 considering 100 for each side we have used 180 so on this side of course it was the starting point so for sure it's gonna be 100 and the 80 will be here but if we want to make sure is exactly the same so in two different ways we have achieved the same result I think we have touched all the basic parameters for the boring uh, machining on the next video we will see the saw cuts so see you at the next video